who knew I would make it this far, they hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball, I know I make it look easy. Welcome back to the Rockfield campus of Montgomery College. Michael Brown alongside my partner once again, Sonia Rada. We are all set for the second game of our doubleheader. This is the men's half of our DH with the Montgomery College men taking on the Skipjacks from Chesapeake. And Sonia, let's run down the starters for Chesapeake. All right, for Chesapeake Skipjacks, we have number three, Armani Martin, number four, Kyle Jones, number 15, Josh Rivers, number 21, Marquise Mc McCavey, number 24, Tom Neeson, and head coach, Andrew Sachs, assistants, Delonte Joyce and David Walton. All right, and starting for the Raptors, we have number one, Kanari Smith, number four, Jaden Rowe, Number five, Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson. Number 13, Donovan Keyes. And number 32, Landon Martinez. The head coach for the Raptors is Jamal Wise. His assistants are Elliot Headley, Junior Blackman, and Ted Green. And Sonia, we come in tonight. Uh, both of these teams need a win. Uh, it goes without saying. They both come in with identical records, mm -hmm. 10 and 13 overall, and they're both two and seven in Maryland Juco near the bottom of the standings. But maybe more importantly for both of these teams is to qualify for the postseason uh, in Region 20. They only take the top eight teams in the region. So these two teams need a win tonight. They need to get on a roll Otherwise, they might uh, miss out on the uh, the postseason playoffs. That's right, and this is an opportunity. Obviously, one team is going to come out victorious, so one of these teams is going to benefit from this greatly. Um, let's hope it's the Raptors. <laughs> <laughs> so the Raptors, uh, both teams tonight coming in a little bit short-handed um, as uh, uh, injuries have uh, played a part for uh, – for all three teams, and actually, the leading scorer for both teams will not be playing tonight. For the Raptors, Will Chichua has a uh, has a foot injury, and uh, for Chesapeake, Elijah Gregory will uh, not be playing tonight. So we are underway. The Raptors are in gray. Chesapeake in the dark blue. Underway from the Rockville campus of Montgomery College. Donovan Keys. And there's a foul. Charging foul on Keys. Our officials for tonight are Joel Franklin, Kevin Gorham, and Austin Johnson. away there by Martinez, but uh, Chesapeake will retain possession. So both teams with a short bench tonight, Sonia, that means uh, the foul situation is something we will definitely want to keep an eye on as the game unfolds. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a factor in this But we hope not too big of a factor because we want to see a good matchup. We don't want anyone to be fouled out of the game. So hopefully. Uh, we, we'd love to see both teams play at full strength, but obviously that's not the case. This deep into the season, injuries are inevitable. It's also an opportunity. Oh, sorry about that. But it's also an opportunity for someone else to step up. There's a three by Jade Rowe. First score of the game, the Raptors up. That's 
Kyle Jones with the basketball, gets it to Armani Martin, who is coming back from a, an injury. Martin, one of the leading scorers on the team, as Chesapeake gets on the board. Jaden Rowe with the ball. The keys. And a nice feed. And one. To Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson. Beautiful feed there from Kanari Smith. And I'll tell you what, Kanari is going to be easy to identify tonight. He's got some incredibly uh, hot. Sneakers on, wouldn't you say they are, uh, Sonia? <laughs> you know I love them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sneaker fashion show out there tonight. Lots of bright colors. Nice pitch down low. And that's Tom Sisson. Nice feed for number 15, Josh Rivers. Three, off the iron, no good, rebound to River. Gets it to 21, Marcus McAbee. And there's a three. For Armani Ar Martin. Armani Martin. Starting the game off real strong. Well, he's coming back from, uh, uh, oh, they're calling a foot on the line. Ah, uh, our, our stat guy, <laughs> who is never wrong, Evan Brown thinks the foot was on the line. The official uh, may not have seen that. And uh, Chesapeake up quickly, 7-6. We expect a fast-paced game. Try to get it inside, knocked away. Here's Mark. Nice feed inside to Kyle Jones for the easy two. That's so the second basket in a row that they feed right in the middle, so the Raptors need to do a better job of defending that. Yeah, they uh, uh, think they've, they've been open down low, and uh, some pin pa point passing has taken advantage of that. And there's a three by Jaden Rowe. Ties it at nine. We expect a fast pace. There's Martin kicks it to the corner. Martin drives, has a shot box. They're gonna call a foul on Abdul Mateen Robinson over the back. Oh, they're calling that one on Kanari Smith. They could have called it on either one of them. Jaden Rose starting out real hot from three for the Raptors. He's already two for two. So he's responsible for six of the nine points for the Raptors. And Armani Martin is a 73% foul shooter, and he makes it. Chesapeake up early. A lot of basketball to go. Seven points already for Armani Martin. Martin comes in averaging 16 and a half a game. Shot up, no good by Smith. And a rebound to Nissen. He's a big fella. Six foot nine. Sophomore center out of Northern High School. That's a good matchup right there between him and Tom Lisa. And Martinez. Yeah. Well, oh, there's a dunk. Minari Smith with that incredible 40 uh, inch vertical leap. Just gave us a little uh, view of it. Smith is a transfer from uh, Anne Arundel Community College, and uh, Anne 
Rutgers losses, MC's game. Big game for us. And nice feed down low, and Marquise Maccabee puts it in. Robinson, the keys from the corner, in and out, no good. Rebound to Maccabee. John Martin. Martin looks like that hip flexor is not bothering him at all. I see no signs of a bad hip flexor. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a power move there by Kyle Jones. He's fouled. He'll go to the line. In case you're joining us late uh, in the opener, we're going to take another look at that one. Oh, here comes that Raptors earlier dunk by Kanari Smith. Look at that leap. And he's not a, he's not a, he's 6'3", which is taller than me by, by several inches, but he really gets up there. And the Raptors doing some wholesale substitution here. Uh, Sebastian Dokum checks in, number 42, number 11, Mohammed abdul Mateen Robinson, who is the brother of Ibrahim. And I may have missed somebody. Yes, number, uh, not a third guy came in. No, just two, just two for the Raptors. And Robinson, that was Mohammed from the corner. Raptors trail by one, early going of the first half. Just Second. like in the women's game, we had a set of sisters, now we have a set of brothers. Yeah. <laughs> It's brother-sister night. <laughs> oh, somehow he didn't walk. Maintained his pivot foot. Battle for the rebound. In down low. And in for uh, Chesapeake is big number 23, Azim Santa. And he's listed at 6'8". And that's going to be a battle between him and Sebastian Dokum. Ten points already for Armani Martin. Boy, we've only played seven minutes. But Dokum and Santa, that is going to be a battle down there. Two really big guys. Here comes the preview of it. Out of the pressure, off the iron, no good. Dokum with the rebound. Dokum leads the Raptors in rebound. 8.2 a game. Right, Abdul Mateen Robinson. Battles it, no good. Santa with the rebound. There's Martin again, no good. Short, Dokum with the rebound. Good hustle. Comes Mohammed. To Jaden Rowe. And the Dokum. Ooh, off the iron, no good. Nice rebound there by Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson, but he had it blocked, knocked out of bounds. Timeout on the floor. So it's a fast pace, but a little bit sloppy. A little bit. But uh, we're we're gonna have some we're gonna have some body uh, we're gonna have like NFL line of scrimmage stuff going on in the in the uh, paint tonight. We've got some big fellas down there. Not only tall, but uh, packing a lot of muscle. <laughs> we'll say it that way. There's a good look at uh, Andrew Sachs, head coach of uh, Potomac. He's in his fifth season. Uh, 
Now, last year, Potomac, or uh, Chesapeake, was 30 and 6. That's a big difference. They went to the NJCAA D2 Nationals. Um, but it, it shows you. Now, this year, they're 10 and 13. Mm -hmm. And it, it just shows you how quickly things change in two-year programs. Uh, he has only one only one returner left on the squad from last year's team, and that's Santa. And he didn't play that many minutes last year. Yeah, so you have basically a brand new team. Yeah, so it's essentially a brand new team. And, uh, you know, it takes a while to mesh. Yeah. As you well know, Sonia, from your many years of playing. That's right, but I think Coach Sachs has a, you know, a proven, proven program, a successful program. Uh, he's been, he's broken many school records uh, in his in his time with the team. So. And he had, he's he's had tons of experience coaching at various levels, high school, college. Uh, he's got quite a resume. There's a long three for Marcus McAbee. Or Marquis McAbee. It's five points for him. That was almost turned it over. Oh, there's a shot under duress. <laughs> and a follow, and he's fouled. Now we had a women's game uh, just before this, with the, which the Raptors won. There were very few fouls called. That's right. <laughs> uh, this one is not starting out that way. But it's been very physical so far as well. Very physical. So this is Muhammad Abdul Mateen Robinson. He struggles from the foul line. He's only hitting 50% this year. Neither team particularly good from the foul line. Chest big shooting under 60% from the line. That, that does not make the coach happy. It's free points, you know. It, it, everyone, if someone tells you just take a shot, and so definitely you wish you could be have a team that's better at free throw shooting. It could be a big difference in the end of the game. Oh, it really can. Oh, there's a nice steal. Oh, and now they're going to call a foul. I'm not sure who it's going to be on. That was. That was very be, tough. It's going to be on Chesapeake. And uh, Martin no. came down on his head with a knee. Ooh. So he got hit in the back of the head by Chris Martin's knee. Yeah. It was right in front of you, Sonia. Yeah, I saw it the whole time. And, of course, Armani uh, Martin off to a great start in this game. Hopefully it's nothing serious. But... Uh, He's holding his head at the end of the bench. Let's hope he's all right. Raptors trainer uh, coming down to attend to him, make sure he's okay. Looks like he's, he'll be all right. Let's hope so. We hate to see anybody get hurt. Shot off the mark there by Taquan Courtney. He, he's in for the first time for uh, Chesapeake, number zero. He's got some pretty snazzy sneaks on himself. There's a block. Nice block by Sebastian Dokum, but he throws it away. I think Martin got a piece of it on the block. So that turns the ball over to Chesapeake. Chris Martin in there now for the Raptors, number zero. Also in for the Raptors, number 20, Thomas Lockery. And there's a three from the corner for number five, Andre Stewart. He's uh, one of their one of their top scorers, he averages 13.4 points a game. And 
Chesapeake uh, in the early going, four for six from three. And that's obviously the difference in the game. Oh, nice block. block. Beautiful block there by the Raptors. Benito Cala. Save a bucket. Dokum knocked down. There's a battle for the ball. And it's a jump ball, and the uh, arrow is in check. Here's the block by Cala. Boy, he really got up there. That was really good timing on his part. Perfect timing. Benito Cala is only 6 2. Mm -hmm. But you wouldn't know it from the way he got up there. Great shot of that block by our uh, one of our intrepid camera people under the uh, under the basket, Tommy Davida. Tommy Davida, an alum of Montgomery College, and there he is, former student of mine, one of my sons. Just kidding. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Tommy is fearless under the basket. I'll tell you, you saw how close that action uh, happened for him. These guys uh, who operate the cameras under the baskets, uh, they deserve combat pay. At that point, you just have to be ready for it and just say, just surrender to it. <laughs> you you got to know at some point you're going to get whacked. And, but uh, they do their job, they're total pros. And Landon Martinez back in for the Raptors. Number 32, shot from the corner by uh, Rivers off the mark. And Lockery brings it up. Oh, lost the handle. Turnover Raptors. He had a lane, but lost the handle. Seven turnovers real early for the Raptors. That does not make Jamal Wise happy. Chesapeake with just one turnover, and they're up by nine. Turnovers making a difference. Andre Stewart with another three. Andre Stewart is a 6'3 freshman. That was a beautiful shot. Very smooth. Five for seven for three for three for Chesapeake. Another turnover for the Raptors. And it's going to stay with Chesapeake. Chesapeake comes into this one on a three-game losing streak. And, of course, they would like nothing better than to, uh, to pick up a win here tonight. As we, as we talked about at the top of the game, both these teams need this win. Raptors lost their last game, but won the prior three. Out from the corner, no good. And the Raptors come out with it. Abdul Mateen Robinson, drive, puts it up, and good. Nice left-handed move. That was Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson, averaging 13.7 points a game for MC. Cuts the lead to 10, <laughs> and we almost had Kanari Smith right in our lap. He saw the opportunity the whole time. His eyes were fixed on the ball. <laughs> yeah, it's like we weren't even here. I'm, <laughs> I'm really glad he didn't hit the hit the table because that could have hurt us. And, uh, we would not want that to happen. There's Santa, and it bounces around and drops. Chesapeake has led from the start. Oh. 
Shot up, no good by Keys. Raptors not shooting well. Well, they're, they're settling for some difficult shots. Raptors shooting 37% from the field to 50 for Chesapeake. That's another one of those telling stats, uh, Sonia. That's right. It looks to me as if they're shooting low percentage shots. You know, a lot of people in front of them maybe try to work the ball around a little bit more, find, see if they can find some open shooters. I'll try to work it down low maybe. Uh, you've got scores down there. Uh, you got uh, Landon Donovan in there right now. Or, I'm sorry, Landon Martinez. Landon Donovan was a very famous soccer player. <laughs> <Yeah. player. laughs> I had to double. I had to take a double <laughs> look at my stat sheet. I, I didn't know Landon Donovan was here. <laughs> yeah, very, uh, very well known um, uh, U.S. Uh, soccer player. Retired for a couple of years, I think. Yes, he has. For those of you who have not met Sonia Rada, my partner, Sonia is uh, very uh, one of the best soccer players ever to play here at Montgomery College. She has uh, played pro uh, overseas in uh, both Europe and South America. And uh, we're really thrilled to have her here at the table tonight. Ooh. Boy, that was a, a hard fall there for Kanari Smith as he was fouled on that uh, fast break drive. He hit the floor hard. Mm -hmm. yeah, he went up against uh, Tom Nissen, and that's a bit of a mismatch uh, size-wise. His first foul shot of the night. It bounces around and rolls through. Raptors have trailed throughout the half. Second shot up and good. So timeout on the floor with 5.22 to go in the first half. Raptors trailing by 10, and uh, let's take a, a real quick quick look at uh, some of the uh, key stats here, Sonia. Uh, turnovers. Yes, that's right. Uh, the Raptors have eight turnovers so far, whereas Chesapeake only has two. And points off turnovers, eight uh, for Chesapeake to just three for the Raptors. Rebounds are pretty even. Uh, assists. Yes. The and that goes to your point about maybe settling mm -hmm. for a more difficult shot. Maybe more of a, the Raptors seem to be having more of an individual play, trying to take it themselves rather than sharing the ball. Yeah, 10 assists uh, for Chesapeake uh, to just five for the Raptors. So that, that amplifies your point from earlier. Raptors now with a little three-quarter court uh, press. There's Courtney with a three, and he sinks it. That's Boy. a beautiful ball movement. They are six for nine from three. They came into the game shooting 30% from three. Uh, Raptors actually a little bit better at 31%, but there's a foul on uh, Neeson there. That's his first. It's a non-shooting foul. Neither team in the penalty situation. Of course, you get to the seventh foul, then you uh, you shoot one and one. You get to ten fouls, you shoot two. There's a three from the corner by Donovan Donovan Keys. 
one of the better three-point shooters on the Raptors team. Good pressure there, but just be Gregson. This one, and he traveled. Lost his footing a little bit. The Raptors really lucked out there because he was pretty much wide open down in the paint. Yeah, uh, he may have gotten a little too eager. And that was a nice shot right there by the Raptors. Here's Rowe. Keys drives and sinks it. Nice turnaround. Maybe building a little momentum here. And that's going to be a jump ball, and the ball and the arrow is in Raptors' favor. So the Raptors now with a chance to uh, cut that lead to nine, get that lead under 10 points. That's, a, that's kind of a big psychological uh, mark. Martinez off the rim, no good. And again, they settle for the quick shot. On the corner, no good. Here they come. Abdul Mateen Robinson drives, puts it up, no good. Here comes Chesapeake. Stewart floats and scores. He just kind of suspended himself for just a second. Santa. And that'll put Jaden Rowe on the line. Jaden is a 65% foul shooter. Oh, he was really fouled. <laughs> they got their money's worth out of that foul. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to make sure they knew it was a foul. <laughs> yeah. They did not want Jaden getting to the rim. So Neeson comes back in, Santa sits down. Also sitting down for uh, Chesapeake is number five, Andre Stewart. And in for the Raptors is number 10, Kevin Neal. He's one of the best defenders on the Raptors team. Very, very quick hand. The Raptors could benefit from that right now. They could use a few steals and turnovers. Mm -hmm. and he is a, he's a wizard defensively. Very quick. Kyle Jones brings it up. He's guarded by Jaden Rowe. Raptors had a lane violation on that foul shot, which cost him a, an opportunity. Keys. Neal out to Rowe. He drives, kicks it. Here's Rowe from the corner, off the rim, no good. Rebound to Maccabee. Two minutes to go in the first half. Raptors trailing by 13. Maccabee. Rivers, way downtown and way off the mark. Rebound to Martinez. Neal, Rowe. And Abdul Mateen Robinson is fouled. And one. They count the basket. That'll put uh, number five, Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson on the line. Sebastian Dokum checks back in. And uh, Abdul Mateen Robinson is one for one from the line so far tonight. The 66% foul shooter. 
averaging 13.7 points a game along with 8.5 rebounds. So one of the stars on this Raptors team, Sonny. Makes the foul shot to complete the three-point play. And the lead is now 10. Raptors would love to have it under 10 at halftime. Cut it to six or eight. Oh, a circus shot there by Kyle Jones. That was good defense, but that was a <laughs> great shot. Wow, what a shot. Difficult. And that's a turnover for the Raptors as he dribbled it off his uh, sneaker. 10 turnovers for MC. That's a big part of the story here in the first half. Just over a minute to go. Raptors down by 12. Battle onto the boards and a travel. That'll be a turnover and the ball will go to the Raptors with a minute three to go. Rowe. This possession is super important for the Raptors. That was the fifth turnover for Chesapeake. Keys to Rowe. Back to Keys, he drives and loses it. McAbee, oh, but Abdul Mateen Robinson right there to pick up the easy two. I thought he was gonna dunk it. <laughs> yeah, they didn't even bother to gift wrap that present. <laughs> So the lead down to 10. The Raptors would love to find a way to get it under 10. There you go. There's a possibility. Dokram with the steal. To Abdul Mateen Robinson, the keys under pressure. It bounced around, no good. Dokram with the rebound. No good. And oh, great block there by Abdul Mateen Robinson oh. to save a bucket. And what a wild end of the first half as Abdul Mateen Robinson blocks Kyle Jones with just seconds to go. And uh, Kevin crazy Neal, first. Kevin Neal made a big difference those last couple minutes that he, he stepped into the game. He did, he did. That's what they bring him in for, the defense. And uh, now we're, we're gonna take a break, but we want you all to uh, hang with us because not only do we have the second half coming up in just a few minutes, but we've also got a uh, halftime filled with very interesting and important Montgomery College information. For Sonia, Rob uh, Sonia Rada, I'm Michael Brown. We'll be right back with the second half in about 15 minutes. I'm on my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay, miss you every day. You like my oxygen. Make it seem like the barge in them. Got my heart no barge in From the bed to the flow to the couch. Might wake the neighbors up. Break you in and break you out. In the end, we gon' make a chop. Then we gon' hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pause. Get you with Misty, we gon' get tips. You don't need a power shot. I'll be my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real. Ain't no cap, I'm real. The plastic bars from a copy my steel. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real. Ain't no cap, I'm real. How do you define Montgomery College? That's the wrong question. It's not how it's defined, it's who defines it. This is a turning point. It's a moment to look to the future and reify your purpose. MC is defined by those who put in the work. From early mornings to late nights, from the classroom to the workplace, with their family, their teammates, and when no one is watching. When our students declare to the world, I am MC, they stand tall. Backed by a thousand experiences that have shaped them along the way. And alongside those who have walked the path with them. There may have been moments of doubt when you were frayed by too much responsibility. Some of you have changed majors, and found new inspiration. Through it, you have found the courage to surmount obstacles. If you are the first in your family to graduate, 
please stand up and say, I am MC. If you earn a high school diploma and a college degree this spring, if you speak more than one language, if you are older than 50 years old, a military service member, an honor student, if you are a parent or a member of the Montgomery College graduating class, please stand up and say, I am MC. Those who embody our spirit don't just graduate and move on. Rather, they continue to represent us as the designers of change and the leaders that they've been the entire time. We don't just begin to be inspired by them after graduation. It's that in our eyes, they've been inspiring us every step of the way. Employers are looking for licensed physical therapy assistants. MC has a two-year degree program for jobs in this career. And in this area, the average pay is good. Learn more about becoming a physical therapy assistant and how MC can help you get there. You on my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay needs you every day. You like my oxygen. Make it seem like the barging them. Got my heart no barging in. From the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wake the neighbors up. Break you in and break you out. In the end, we gon' make a trap. Then we gon' hit the shower. Part two, break you in and... Career success starts at Montgomery College. At MC, you can prepare for a rewarding career in these exciting fields. And if your goal is earning a bachelor's degree, starting at MC is a smart choice. MC's award-winning team supports you every step of the way with advising, tutoring, and career preparation to help you make your move. Join the thousands that are getting the education they need to succeed at Montgomery College. From the beginning. That's what I'm talking about. From the beginning.
turning dreams into reality In the lab with the formula and chemistry The memories spark and motivate And make the industry shake We put the bars in the place I'm talking one, one chance at best, yes Yeah, it's one all oh, one shot Now the future be yours, go! I'm Jordan. Um, I am a second year in the early college program. I'm currently majoring in elementary education and special education at the Rockville campus. Hello, my name is Paulo Rivero. I am a second year student at the Montgomery College Early College Biotechnology program. My name is Krushi Savla and I was in the early college program. I completed the nursing program at Montgomery College and I graduated in spring of 2022. I found high school to be sometimes a bit challenging. It really depends on what courses you take. I wanted to challenge myself academically more. Um, I've always um, knew that I wanted to have my diploma in something else, like going into high school. So the early college program stuck out to me the most because the degree at the end. The most like fascinating thing about it was it had the career pathway that I wanted to choose regardless. So that really pulled me to it saying, you know, if this is what I want to do for my whole life, then why not start early? When I came on campus, I was like, what did I get myself into? Like, it was like, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> my MC schedule is I would say is more flexible than high school. You don't have to spend 45 minute periods in one class. In high school, you know, we have seven classes in the day. They're all only 50 minutes. Then you come to college, you don't have all your classes every day. There is a lot of growth in the first two semesters uh, that I've gone through. I think that's something that you would discover. You realize that, oh, going to a professor's office hours is really helpful. It's a, very good tool. I was very nervous as to how I'm going to keep up the pace, but also excited to meet other people that you know are doing the same thing as me, making new friends and just experiencing college. So it's helpful, you know, having that bond where we all kind of stuck together. We all knew what we all were feeling within each other. So it was that sort of empathy that you know we all shared, where we all understood what we all are feeling. I kind of feel like I have a head start because I did two years in college before I did went into a four year. I'm more responsible for myself and I don't have like reminders to like go to class, do your homework. It's like I have to do it. I didn't like how with AP classes, if you don't pass the final exam, you wouldn't get the credit. Um, with the early college program, when I graduate in 2023, next year, I will have more than a credit. I will have a degree, and I feel like that will help me when I apply to a four-year, more than an AP class. Walking across the stage, like, it's surreal, I will say. Even for me, it's like at, you know, 18, 19 years old with an associate's degree, I can step out and get into my career as, like, a dream like you know it doesn't even feel real sometimes and it really shows that there is no age limit at what you can do things I would recommend this program I feel like it's gonna be like really rewarding like I get to walk not once but twice um, I have a college degree I'm gonna also have a diploma it's gonna be like a feeling that like wow like I did it it's not that you can't do it, it's what's stopping you from doing it. If you want to do it, I believe you truly can do it because you have more than enough resources to get you through it. So my advice to any new students that are thinking of going to this program is to use your resources, to be committed, and to persevere through this. Because once you have a, a good attitude towards this, you're unstoppable.
Data science is much more broad. Our world is full. In fact, we're saturated with data. We're consumers, we're producers of data. A lot of people are now suddenly aware, maybe because of chat GPT or any of these artificial intelligence pieces that are all surrounding our lives. And welcome back to the Rockville campus of Montgomery College. Michael Brown alongside my partner, uh, Sonia Rada. We are uh, just about set to get the second half underway. Raptors trailing by 10 uh, as we uh, as we get uh, set to start second half. Let's take a quick look at the uh, stats. Um, Let's start with the leading scores for Chesapeake. And Sonia? So we have Armani Martin with 10 points, Andre Stewart with eight points, Kyle Jones with five, and Marquise Maccabee with five points as well. For the Raptors, the leading scorer is Ibrahim Abdul-Mateen Robinson. He's got 10, Jaden Rose six, Kanari Smith four, Donovan Keys for. Now let's look at the overall stats. A uh, couple of things uh, jump out right at the right at you, and one is the shooting percentage. Shooting percentage is huge. Chesapeake is at uh, 50% shooting from from the field from and from the outside, and um, the Raptors are 10 of 27, 37%. And the three-point advantage is even uh, more uh, uh, dramatic. Uh, Chesapeake hitting 54%, six out of 11. The Raptors just two of five for 40. And turnovers, the Raptors with 11, Chesapeake with seven. Make that eight. Yeah, just make that eight <laughs> as we just got a, a Chesapeake turnover to start second half. Rebounds are about even. And fouls are not a, not a real issue. Bench points, bench points, 13 bench points for Chesapeake versus three for the Raptors. So let's set the lineups uh, for the Raptors. We've got number one, Kanari Smith, number four, Jaden Rowe, number 13, Donovan Keyes, number 32, Lana Martinez, and Number five, Ibrahim Abdul-Mateen Robinson. So the same starters as uh, started the, uh, the uh, beginning of the game. For Chesapeake. Number 21, Marcus McAbee. Number 24, uh, Tom Nissen. Uh, number three, Armani Martin. Number 15, Josh Rivers. And number four, Kyle Jones. And number three for the Chesapeake Skipjacks, uh, Armani Martin checks back into the game to start. Uh, he was out, he sat for, for a while after getting hit in the head in the first half. Right, and uh, he had an excellent first half. He, however, has three personal fouls. So that could be another reason that he sat out. That is the one player uh, for for either team who is in a, in a bit of foul trouble. We got a chance to, to to ask him if he was okay after getting hit in the head, and he said he was fine. So I think you're right. Those three fouls might have had something to do with. The and I want to correct myself. He only has two. Oh, two fouls. Okay. <laughs> Maybe his coach was being extra cautious then to not get him in foul trouble. The Raptors trailed uh, the entire first half. Smith off the iron, no good. Santa with the rebound. Santa quickly in for uh, Chesapeake for Nissen. Santa had uh, made quite an impact in the first half. I think to me that's the biggest difference in the game is the, the big guys in the, in the paint. Um, I think that at this point, after the first half, Chesapeake is winning that battle, both offensively and defensively. Raptors just not shooting well. There's a... And 
that's a uh, violation. Shot clock violation. Took too much time. And here come the Raptors. Neither team has scored. Do cut the lead to eight. Six points for Keys now. Steal by Rowe. He's in traffic. And he's fouled. Take your pick. It's either Maccabee or Kyle Jones. Either one of them could get, could get that one. I'm gonna guess it's Jones because yeah. the coach sat him. Yeah, he took him out immediately. So it was it was Jones. He was grabbing the jersey. Here's Rowe. Donovan Keys. And knocked away by Taquan Courtney. Juan Courtney is a 6'3 sophomore from Kent Island. That is a beautiful place, Kent Island. I've never been there, actually. Oh, he traveled, no call. And a slam by Santa. Back up to Ted. Smith missed everything. Got a little bit of the net at the bottom. But <laughs> Just speak with a chance to build on that 10 point lead. Raptors really cannot let this thing get away from them. Martin. No good, battle for the ball. Smith comes out of it, look out. Whoa. Love that. Tomahawk. Tomahawk slam by Kanari Smith, and he can really get up there. Here it is. Woo. Beautiful. His teammates liked it, too. <laughs> there you go. Got a steal by. Do it again. Back-to-back dunk. back dunks. And all of a sudden, we got a six-point game. And there's the second one. That one is a more conventional two-hander. <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> all right, let's score them. Uh, you know, if this were the NBA dunk contest, <laughs> I would give the first one. You got to hold up our. <laughs> and we're going to turn to our stat. First one is 9.4. <laughs> our stat man, Evan Brown, gives that one a 9.4. Second dunk, 9.2. <laughs> I can't remember there being point two. I thought it was whole numbers. <laughs> They're too close. <laughs> He's calling them nine and eight now. Yeah, if that's If you want better. to use hold up. I think that's yeah. better. <laughs> <laughs> so there we are. Good look at the crowd. We've got a nice turnout tonight. Very enthusiastic turnout. And uh, it's a good atmosphere over here. You know, the cheerleaders are here. There's a big crowd. Good atmosphere, good game, fun game. Entertaining game. We had an excellent opener in our doubleheader tonight. Raptors women 
team improving to 15 and 6 with their 80 to 74 win. And uh, Raptors pressure forces a timeout as the Raptors came out with a little pressure. First time they've shown that tonight. And as a result, uh, Chesapeake had to waste a timeout. That is obviously not where uh, head coach Andrew Sachs would want to use a timeout. With this much time left in the, uh, in the game. The Raptors are still pressing. Nine turnovers for Chesapeake, so they have uh, definitely picked up the pace in that department. Rowe is going to be called for a foul. <laughs> he almost had that. It was very close. It was clearly a foul. That's his second. Got a foul off the ball. And Dokum picks up the foul. He is in now for the Raptors, number 42, Sebastian Dokum. Picked that one up off the ball, so it's a non-shooting foul. Santa versus Dokum. That's a couple of big bodies out there. Martin. No good. Battle for the rebound. And it's going to stay at the Chesapeake end. The Stewart, who's in now. Santa from the foul line. Off the rim, no good. Rebound to Maccabee. One of the smallest guys on the court with the putback. You, you have to box out there. <laughs> Seven points for Maccabee. Dokum. Stolen by Maccabee. And he takes it all the way. Under pressure. A lot of pressure. That's nine points now for Maccabee. Again, he's one of the smallest guys out there. 6 1. Quick pass in the corner, key. Rowe down the middle. He's fouled by Santa. Got him with the body. That's three on Santa. Pleading his case to no avail. Okay, here comes Neeson in now. I'm guessing he's going to replace Santa. That's the rotation they've been uh, following throughout the game. And that's exactly what happens as Tom Neeson checks back in. Rowe, one for three, now two for four from the line. Pressure again by the Raptors. Chesapeake breaks it. Armani Martin to McAbee, who's been hot. He drives. Puts it up in traffic, has it blocked by Rowe, and they're gonna call a foul on somebody. That's his third, Jaden Rowe. Oh yeah, he got it. Excellent shot there. Once again, our uh, wonderful camera crew, our wonderful production crew, he misses the first. The wonderful production crew here from Montgomery College doing uh, just a superior job as always. 
McAfee makes it. So he's now one for one from the line for the night. One for two from the line for the night. And for the Raptors is Benito Cala, number three. Gets it into Dokum. Powers it up. And there's a foul. And I believe the foul's going to be on Nissen. Yep, Nissen picks up the foul. That's his second. And Dokum goes to the line. Dokum is a 58% foul shooter. Six foot ten, two thirty. What? Looks like he could play tight end. <laughs> uh, no, he gets it to go. Lucky bounce. So he makes them both. Raptors need that. Cut the lead to seven. They're chipping away at it. Nissen has it blocked by Dokum. Doka picks up the loose ball. Nice save there by uh, Abdul Mateen Robinson. Doka with the power move. Wow. There you go, Doka. Defensively and offensively, back to back. That is what he's in there for. Mm -hmm. Raptors now have it down to five. This is the closest they've been since early in the first half. And Chesapeake coach Andrew Sachs not happy with the call. And he is uh, letting them know he's not happy. <laughs> I think he's not been happy about a few things. No. <laughs> been a whole night. Oh my goodness, how many steps did we I get? I was just about to say. <laughs> 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 Maccabee took a stroll to the basket. <laughs> oh, I have to laugh at that one, folks. <laughs> we got an official's timeout. I think there's an issue with the uh, the game clock. Here Let's take is. a look at it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Depends when he caught it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Yes. And and one. One. And that's about as uh, animated as you'll see Dokum. He's usually very He's got six points and five rebounds in limited time out there. He's normally very stoic out there on the court, but uh, he's uh, he's bumping it tonight with some uh, some big guys and uh, clearly clearly his temperature has turned up. <laughs> The we'll Raptors definitely need that. That yeah. presence in the middle, yeah. that's what I was talking about. We were struggling with that, and he's picking it up, so it's showing in the score. And there's Martin. Ooh. The Raptors better hope he doesn't heat up. He puts the lead back up to eight. He's got 13 points. Bill Mateen Robinson over in the corner row. Drive, puts it up. And he'll go to the line with a chance for a three point play. That's 10 points for Jaden Rowe. He's two for four from the line. And make that three for five. And he completes the three-point play and cuts the lead to five. This is the closest the Raptors have been for quite some time. Bumping all the way up the court. Nissen 
Rivers. Martin puts it up and he's fouled. Bumped on the way up. And that foul was on uh, Dokum. That's his second. He is giving the Raptors some quality minutes in the paint tonight. And Armani Martin at the line. He's two for two so far tonight. And he sinks the first. Martin came into the game as a 73-point foul shooter, or 73% foul shooter, averaging 16 and a half points a game. Makes them both, so he's perfect from the line tonight. Here's Kala, guarded by Martin. Keys, drives, pitches to uh, Kala, who's knocked down, no foul call. Missing with the rebound. Up the floor to Rivers for three. Off the mark, no good, missing with the big rebound. Over to Martin. Kyle Jones. Into Nissen. Little jump puck, no good, Dokum with the rebound. And I believe we're gonna have a tech called on the Chesapeake bench, number 23, Aziz Santa, may have said one of the magic words. Yeah, it's possible. Or maybe several. And the official, <laughs> he said it at the, his timing was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Another another two seconds and they would have been fur, uh, further down the court. But he had an audience and the audience was dressed in a striped shirt. <laughs> so that'll put Donovan Keyes on the line. And Keyes misses the first. That's his first foul shot of the night. He is a 77% foul shooter. Oh, we just got word that whatever was uh, said that prompted that uh, tech has disqualified uh, Azim Santa from the game. All right, we just got another clarification. He's disqualified because he fouled out. That technical foul was his fifth foul. So that is That's a big... Huge hole in the lineup for Chesapeake. So once again, Aziz, Aziz Santa uh, got a technical on the bench, but it happened to, that technical happened to be his fifth foul, so he is uh, out of the game. So they will play the rest of the way without one of their two big men. That could be a big difference in the game because now they don't have the ability to, to change their lineup to replace one with the other. So if, if Neeson gets into foul trouble or is tired and needs a break, he won't have, they'll just have to go with a smaller lineup. And Neeson right now has two fouls. So he's not in any trouble at the moment, but we got a long way to go. That'll put Dokum on the line. He's two out of three from the line tonight. And Andrew Sachs is getting, I, I would imagine, a clarification. Head coach Andrew Sachs of Chesapeake. Did 
discussion continues. I would assume that uh, Coach Sachs is getting an explanation for the tech on his uh, player, Aziz Santa. Doakum at the line. And he misses. Battle for the ball. And jump ball. The arrow is in the Raptors' favor. So they will get to inbound the ball under their basket. Benito Calla will inbound it for the Raptors. Good look at Benito. Benito's a freshman out of Northwest High School. Gets it to Dokum, who loses it. He was surrounded. Three players around him, yeah, that was tough. It was almost a scrum. And the Raptors with the pressure again. It was effective the last time they used it, but this time Chesapeake gets it across. Mark with the head fake into Nissa. Little jump hook off the mark. Dokum went way up there for the rebound. Pala. Chris Martin back in for the Raptors. There is Keys off the mark, but a nice follow by Muhammad Abdul Mateen Robinson. He had great position and he put it away. The lead is now down to four points and this is the closest they've been. Yeah, this is the closest they've been since way back early in the first half. Mm -hmm. Nesson off the back of the rim. Dokum with another rebound. Dokum is really kind of dominating the paint right now. Martin with the floater, no good. And Rivers with a tough rebound. And that is to Quan Courtney over to Martin, and he buries a three. Miscommunication there. From the top of the key. You don't want to leave uh, Martin open like that. No, he was wide open. Yeah. Wide open. It's like shooting in his driveway. <laughs> so we've got timeout on the floor. 8.32 to go, a lot of basketball left, uh, Sonia. Yeah, still a lot of time to go. And uh, Martin already with 18 points, so you don't want to leave him open like that. No, no, he, he's scoring from just about everywhere on the court. You don't need to leave him open. Mm -hmm. you know? And mind you, he has 18 points, but he did sit for a lot of the first half, so. But he, uh, he he's four out of seven from beyond the arc as well. Mm -hmm. So 12 of his 18 are, fr are uh, from three. The Raptors have just not shot well tonight from three. Raptors have only hit two of nine, 22%. Whereas 50% for uh, Chesapeake, eight of 16. That is. That's really high. That's a huge difference. And that is obviously a big reason for their lead. If not the reason. <laughs> Bill Mateen Robinson, nope. But Landon Martinez there with the follow. Martinez uh, in for Do uh, Dokum. Give Dokum a little breather. That's his first two points of the uh, game, but they come at a very opportune time. Oh. Now that's a foul you don't see called in this game very often. Just a little touch foul. And that's his third. 
That's three fouls now on Lana Martinez. And just because a smaller lineup now, because uh, Neeson sat, and now you can't replace him with your other big guy, uh, Santa. Right, Santa is, of course, out of the game. Nissen takes a, a break. Rivers is in. He's good size, but at 6'4", but this nowhere near their size. That's something the Raptors should look to take advantage of. But here's a break. Neal. Oh. I'm sorry, Kyle Jones, but he traveled. He had a wide open highway in front of him, and he traveled. He wanted to get there too fast. Here, take a look at it. Yep. Just took too many little stutter steps to try to get himself in the right position. Kanari Smith back in for the Raptors now, number one. And there's a turnover. And blocked. Not sure if Martinez blocked it or the underside of the basket blocked it. The underside of the basket hit it, and then when the rebound came, Martinez just slapped it out of bounds. So Kyle Jones will inbound for Chesapeake. Uh, Sebastian Doku back in for the Raptors, along with number five, Ibrahim Abdul-Mateen Robinson. Also, uh, Kyle Jones takes a seat for uh, Chesapeake. And Armani Martin is back in. Gave uh, Martin a little breather. Again, he's coming off an injury as we talked about at the top of the game. McAbee off the mark. Martin off the mark. McAbee off the mark. Looked like he was fouled, no call. It was a block by uh, Smith. Smith, yeah. Abdul Mateen Robinson. Tough basket. That's Abraham. He's got 12 on the night. That was a tough two points. Stewart blocked and fouled. Uh -oh. And it looks like Sebastian Dokum is on the floor there. Looks to be okay. Looks all right. Yeah, he uh, had his legs taken out from under him by uh, Stewart, inadvertently, of course. Because Stewart doesn't want Sebastian Dokum falling on him. No, I don't think anyone wants <laughs> <laughs> Stewart one for two from the line on the night. And make that two for three. Jaden Rowe back in for the Raptors. Keys. Way off the mark. And not sure what uh, the Raptors thought that uh, Keys was fouled on the elbow. And fans behind us are saying that uh, Chesapeake's been getting away with that all night. Of course, they're fans. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little biased. <laughs> they might be a tad biased. Just a little bit. So we've got a timeout on the floor, 6.18 to go, a five-point game. The Raptors showing a lot of grit here in the second half. Yeah, Good they're, look. They're, not, they're not letting go. They're, no. they're hanging in there. and They are really hanging in there. Way. Despite a short bench, Good look there at uh, head coach Jamal Wise. You talk about a guy with a basketball resume. Mm -hmm. Jamal Wise, of course, uh, was high school player of the year in Maryland when he played at Maryland. First team all met. At Paint Branch High School. At a Paint Branch High mm -hmm. School, my our stack keeper's alma mater. Mm. Actually, both my boys uh, graduated from, uh, from uh, Paint Branch High School. After graduating from Paint Branch, uh, Jamal went on to play uh, on a full scholarship at Rhode Island University. Had a very successful uh, career there. 
and then played four years of pro ball in Europe. Incredible career as a player and trying to follow suit as a coach as well. And now he is uh, a math teacher, has his master's degree, he's a math teacher uh, at a uh, school in Washington, D.C. So he's been with the uh, Montgomery College basketball program for several years now. Started as an assistant and then took over the job two years ago. He's got a great crew of assistants as well. Uh, Elliot Headley, who's been here a, quite a while. Great guy, great coach. Junior Blackman, well known in this area, has coached at Montgomery College on and off for over 20 years. And Ted Green. Rowe, he's fouled. That was a tough shot. Missed a shot, but he'll go to the line. Here's an opportunity to cut the lead to a one score. One score. One possession game. One if possession he can make game. them both here, he'll be shooting two. And that is the ninth. He's three for five from the line. Up and good. That's the 19th foul on Chesapeake. So any fouls after this, the Raptors will shoot two every time they go to the line. And he missed the second, but gets the rebound. And we may have a lane. No, we have a foul. Back to the line. Tokum was fouled after the missed foul shot. What a hustle from uh, Rowe, though. He shot, missed the, missed the free throw, and got his own rebound. Excellent hustle. And Tokum just kind of short-armed that one. His form didn't look right. He's two, uh, he's two of five from the line tonight. What? Much smoother flow on that one, and it's good. One possession game. Yep, we are in a one possession game with 5.41 to go. The Raptors have just chipped away, chipped away, chipped away. And a block by Abdul Mateen Robinson. Beautiful. That Great ball defense. barely got out of Stewart's hand. He takes it the other way and scores. And one. But they're going to call a charge. Oh, no. I didn't. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, they called the charge. I think the fans were confused, too. <laughs> Eight blocks tonight by the Raptors, by the way. Eight. That's a lot of blocks. And it hasn't been just Doka. Abdul Mateen Robinson. Landon Martinez. It's been a team effort. Donovan Key. Martin has it taken away by Abdul Mateen Robinson. Abraham really playing well. Drives, dishes. Callis, I'm sorry, Rowe throws it up and hits the floor hard. You can hear that all the way over here. Hit his elbow. These are crucial. It's up, bounces around, and falls through. Five for eight from the line, so he's uh, spent a lot of time in the charity strike tonight. And Martin, that's his third foul. Armani Martin, who's the leading scorer for Chesapeake. The second is good. We've got a one-point ball game, ladies and gentlemen. The Raptors have just refused to go away. They really have. I, I love the grit. 
and the intensity. Stewart. Yep. Looked to me like he turned it over, but no call. Yeah, they can't see them all. So Chesapeake will inbound under their own basket. Gets it in to Stewart. Good defense by Abdul Team Robinson. And Chesapeake is forced to call a timeout as Ibrahim just had him pinned on the uh, on the boundary line there. The Raptors are really showing some grit tonight. And I'm the coach has got to love it. He's got to love the effort. Absolutely. Four minutes, four minutes and 33 seconds left. What you want is to have your team set up to be able to have a chance to win the game. So they've done that all night. They are certainly in position to take this game right now. It's anybody's game. We've got four and a half minutes to go. Uh, we look at the foul situation. Uh, Chesapeake has now got 10 team fouls, so the Raptors will be in the double bonus. The Raptors are only one uh, away from 10. So their next foul will send Chesapeake to the line for two. So uh, foul shooting will undoubtedly play a big part in how this thing uh, turns out tonight. And uh, our uh, statistician slash spotter has noticed that uh, Kamari Smith is sporting a, uh, a Band-Aid above his eye. Maybe took an elbow, quite likely. Uh, he's sitting on the bench right now. Hopefully he'll be all right, and hopefully he'll be back in. Here's Jake Rowe. Boy, look at it. And that, that is a foul on Martin. Got to put Rowe back at the line. Oh, he misses the first. Six out of ten from the line tonight. Which is about his average. He shoots 65% from the foul line. He's got 14 points. And he missed them both. Had a chance to take the lead, but missed them both. The Raptors have always just been so close, but they can't get over the hump. Yeah, if they could take the lead, if the Raptors could take the lead, uh, they just might open this thing up, up wide open. McAbee, guarded by Abdul Mateen Robinson, who really a great defender. Oh, look at that. Nissen just kind of worked his way in and did his little half hook. And uh, when he was on the bench, I think it really allowed the Raptors to get back into this game. So they've got him back out there. And of course, uh, Chesapeake missing Santa, who uh, fouled out. Raptors got to get something going here. A shot up, no good. And that's a turnover. So a quick substitution for the Raptors. Canari Smith comes back in sporting that Band-Aid. Point game, three minutes to go in the ball game, just over three minutes. Stewart, Courtney, gets it to go. Tough basket. And that pushes the lead back up to five. And you're right, Sonia, the, the Raptors just get right there and they just can't quite get it over the, the hump. There's Canary Smith off the mark, no good. Rebound. Great rebound. 
Great rate, rebound and put back by Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson. That's 14 for up for him. Really played well tonight. Yeah, and I think a lot of what he has done tonight has not just been his scoring, his uh, rebounding, his defense, uh, all, a lot of things that he's done that don't necessarily get shown in the stats. No, he's played score. a complete game tonight, yes, both like ends of the floor. And as a result, he's hardly come out. <laughs> And he's just a freshman. So hopefully the Raptors will have him back next year. Timeout on the floor as Smith picks up his third foul. Kanari Smith now with three fouls. Timeout on the floor. Just over two minutes to go. Been a great night of basketball here at Montgomery College. I uh, hope you're enjoying it wherever you're watching it. And we will uh, be re-airing this game. Uh, actually, we'll be re-airing this game and our uh, first game on uh, the MCTV YouTube channel. So just go to YouTube and search for MCTV, uh, and you'll see a wide array of programming uh, and a whole lot of basketball, soccer, volleyball, baseball. It's all there for you uh, to enjoy. Yeah, MCTV does a great job with all the coverage, the cameras. There's a lot of people working behind the scenes that put out a great production. Oh, it's, it's an amazing uh, team, uh, team effort here um, that MCTV puts on. And it's a real privilege for me to be asked back uh, to, uh, to help them out. And uh, another great job tonight, the camera work, graphics, everything, just first rate. And, and you know, we've got a, a special tip of our hat to the audio because uh, it, it just sounds great in here. You get, I mean, you really feel the intensity uh, of the game with the audio. So Dokum will go to the line. And this is uh, a big spot for him. The Raptors need to start knocking these uh, free throws down. First one's up and short. There's three for seven from the line tonight. Came in as a 54% foul shooter. It's not his strength, but boy, they need him here. Back one up and good. A little pressure there by Neal. Raptors need a stop. There you go. They need a stop. Oh, Martin had his shot blocked. I'm sorry, that was Courtney. Had his shot blocked. Neal. To row. Minute 40 to go. Raptors down by three. Keys. Oh, the The one point ball game. Raptors pressing. Minute 25 to go. Coming down the home stretch. Oh, almost stolen by Neal. And that is a 10 second violation. There we go, Neal, we talked about him before, the defensive specialist, and he's coming in clutch in the end. That was uh, a beautiful use there of Kevin Neal by Jamal Wise. He produced a turnover which gives the Raptors the opportunity to take the lead here. That's 13 turnovers now for Chesapeake. And the Raptors inbounding it. Kanari Smith, they need a bucket right here. Jaden Rowe, looking for a good shot. 
Ten seconds on the shot clock. Keys. Smith. Off the back of the iron, no good. Raptors rebound. Abdul Mateep Robinson. He got his own rebound, Kanari Smith. Kanari Smith got his own rebound. And Abdul Mateen Robinson with the putback. And that is the Raptors' first lead of the night. That's incredible. 62-61. 51, 53 seconds, 51 seconds. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm sorry. 53 seconds to go. Raptors All right there, Michael. <laughs> well, I was looking at both clocks. <laughs> and uh, the old brain got a little fuzzy there for a second. So uh, we are down to it. And, you know, we spoke about how even these teams were before we started. So it, it, it's proof here in the game. It has lived up to the hype mm -hmm. uh, of what we were talking about pregame and, and all during the game about the uh, how even these two teams are. They came in with identical records, both needing a win badly. As the season is winding down, we are less than a month now, really just about three weeks away from the postseason. Um, so this is a vital uh, game for, uh, for both teams. So the Raptors with pressure. Neal back out there. 45 seconds to go, Maccabee. Out top with Jaden Rowe on it. Stewart into Nissen. He puts it up, no good. Raptors with the ball. Keys. And that. And they're gonna they're gonna call a foul on the Raptors. I'm speechless. And they're calling a charge. Kind of lost his footing there. And that was a, boy, that was a, a tough call. There's still a lot of time left. And the Raptors are still ahead. So let's not, uh, there it is again. He is outside the circle. He did have his feet set. He was set. Keys could have pulled that ball back out. And that is a, that, that's a vital uh, turnover there, a crucial one. That's uh, Shot clock is off. 19 turnovers now for the Raptors. 25 seconds to go. Stewart puts it up, no good. Good defense. Excellent defense there by the Raptors to deny Stewart. Hope we get another look at that. Meanwhile, Ibrahim Abdul-Mateen Robinson, who has had an excellent game, will go to the line. Here's the, uh, here's the play by Keyes. That was a clean play. Good defense by Donovan Keyes. Robinson's his first is up and good. He's three for three now from the line. This next one is huge. This next one is, is very big. Deep breath. It's up and good. Makes them both. That's exactly, exactly what the doctor ordered. The Raptors now up by three with 18 seconds to go. And what do you think uh, Ches Chesapeake's going to be looking for here, Sonia? <laughs> well, it depends on their lineup. Uh, but if if uh, Armani Martin is in the game, I think I would want the ball in his hands. Outside the arc, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, well, they, they need, need it. They have to have a three. Mm -hmm. there's, I, there's not enough time, 18 seconds. It's possible. It's possible that they go for a two and then go for a steal off a press. 
But they haven't shown press all night. They could make it a, a foul game because, uh, you know, the Raptors haven't been shooting that well. So that's well, a one, one guy they don't want to foul is uh, Ibrahim abdul Bateen Robinson. That is for sure. He's perfect from the line tonight. Four for four. And Nissen is off. On the, Seven on the for bench. ten from the field. Four for four from the line. Seven rebounds. Eighteen points. Excellent ball game. Seven seconds. There's Martin's shot is short. Rebound to Smith. And the Raptors are going to win it. Wow. What a game. The Raptors take it. The Raptors take it 64 to 61. They improve to 11 and 13 on the season. Chesapeake takes a tough loss. They led almost the entire way, but they came up just short in the end. And Sonia, I got to say that uh, the Raptors defense down the stretch it was really, it really was did the job. Absolutely. We had uh, Kevin Neal was huge down at the end of the game and also Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson. <coughs> Excuse me. Absolutely. And uh, it was just a great game for the Raptors. They just uh, wouldn't, wouldn't go away. They didn't get the lead until the end, and um, you know that's what matters in the end. Whoever gets the win at the end, whoever has more points at the end, it doesn't matter if you're leading the whole game. So, uh, congratulations to the Raptors. This is huge. Uh, absolutely, would give my vote for Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson for Player of the Game. He was incredible. So, <coughs> I lost my voice. No worries, Michael. Uh, we also had uh, Kanari Smith with eight points. So um, the Raptors had a complete game. And uh, thank you for joining us. Um, we are here from the Raptors uh, Rockville campus. Thank you for joining us. And take care, everybody. Well, th you on my mind a lot. Don't need no time. Watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay miss you every day. You like my oxygen. Make it seem like the barging down. Got my heart no barging in. From the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wake the neighbors up. Break you in then break you out. In the end, we gon' make a chop. Then we gon' hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pals. You can't miss me. We gon' get tips. You don't need a power shot. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real. Ain't no cap, I'm real. Plastic bars from a copy my steel. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real. Ain't no cap, I'm real. Plastic bars from a copy my steel.